I'm going to start like with your background in music because I'm just curious about what really got you into uh, performing and playing guitar and singing and all of that. Yeah. Um, well, I kind of, well, let's go back to the start. I started okay. playing piano when I was young. I was probably seven years old and it, it was more of like a rule of my family than actually something that I desired, right? So yeah. I, I had to play for seven years and then I stopped, but I always really loved music and I, I think uh, my mother in particular always understood that about me. So she bought me a guitar somewhere along the line uh, and, and it was just kind of a dust collector for a while. And, you know, middle of high school, I guess, I, I would start picking it up and playing it and I really enjoyed it. Uh, and, and I kind of always wanted to be in a band and I'd go over to a buddy's house and we'd play and the other guys were pretty good but I was awful and they were very gracious for allowing me to participate um, but you know it was just uh, r really like my senior year in the summer before college it really became something that I was really falling in love with and uh, there was just always such a strong community around you know, the the group of people that I would be playing music with, whether it was a friend of mine that used to play piano and we'd hang out or this these group of guys that I would jam with. Um, and sure enough, in college, I met a couple of guys. We, we played together for four years and uh, really had a strong bond. And, you know, bands break up and stuff like that, and that's what happened to us. And a couple of the guys got to go off... Uh, and tour and play in this other band and I was out of school and not knowing what the heck to do um, and and I was just kind of devastated and sometimes life will get a hold of you and, and show you how important something is in your life through the absence of that thing. So I just started writing and started playing some songs and one thing led to another uh, and I I put some some demos together on my own and I ended up getting introduced to my producer in I guess it was 2013. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. No, 2012, I guess. July of 2012. Sorry, time's flying when you have fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you know, he liked he liked a few of my songs. He didn't like all of them, but he really liked a few of my songs and he said, you know, I, I'd really like to work with you. So that was kind of day one. That's when this, and you know, I had uh, that during, you know, the years, the couple of years leading up to that in between my producer and my band breaking up, you know, I was, I was getting out. I was playing some shows. I was living in uh, central Pennsylvania at the time because I, I went to uh, Penn State and I kind of kicked around town for a little bit thereafter the fact. And, uh, you know, I'd play some shows in Philly and in the bars in town and, it was really feeling good. So when my producer came to me and said, let's work together, I was like, yeah, boom, no brainer. So here we are today, you know, I'm, I'm living in New York City, um, which I'm originally from New York. So this was kind of a no brainer um, from upstate. But, you know, my family, uh, a lot of my family is from down here. And um, yeah, that's, that's really where, how I've gotten to where I'm at. You know, my producer, and I have written some songs together. I've written some songs under his guidance and counsel, if you will. But yeah, that's 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 what we're kind of working on right now. Wow. Yeah, that sounds like a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm about to turn 27, so it's like, okay, I've got I've got some years under my belt now. This yeah. isn't just like, uh, you know, I, I've kind of weathered a few storms. So it's yeah. it's it's in kind of a sweet spot right now. And I um, listened to some of your stuff, and you have a really unique style. Like, um, I really, really like it. Thank you, thank you. you. Some people say you have a unique style, and then they're like, "But I don't like it." No, so, no, I thank like you. It. I appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah. yeah. Um, where do you get your inspiration from? Like, what kind of stuff um, inspired you to pick that kind of style? That, I, I I get asked that, you know, uh, regularly enough. Um, it's so tough. I mean. There, there's kind of two major facets of what kind of m makes me the musician and the songwriter that I am. There's kind of this part of me that 
really, really cares about being a really, really good songwriter. And I'm really, I, I get kind of almost as inspired by songwriters as I do the performers because those aren't always synonymous, right? Yeah. So there's that side of me. And then there's this side of me that, you know, shoot, if all else fails, I'll just go be, you know, a killer guitar player somewhere or aspire to that, right? So I... I do the John Mayer thing a little bit, but we don't, I identify with what he does because he also wants to be this great songwriter and he is, he's amazing. And he also wants to be this awesome guitar player. So in that sense, I identify with him, but I think stylistically we're, we're very, very different. Um, I get inspired, I get inspired by the entire composition, right? So if I'm writing a song, it's, the lyrics are just as important to me as, you know, uh, an, an eight measure little horn riff or motif or something in there. You know, I'm really inspired by the song as a whole when I'm writing. So that goes into it. Um, but, you know, specific people and bands. Oh, man. I could tell you about all the guitar players I love. Uh, you know, John Mayer I love is like a modern person that I can identify with. And I love obviously Hendrix and really love Joe Walsh. Um, that's such a random person to throw out there. Um, you know, I, I grew up listening to all the old stuff, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Jimi Hendrix experience. Um, you know, the Eagles, my Lord, they're, they're really, they're really up there because they were one of the like big songwriting bands. Right. So, I don't know. It, it kind of comes from all over. I love Stevie Wonder. I love soul. Um, you know, I don't identify with too much that's going on right now. I mean, there's some stuff that comes out and I'm like, yeah, that's it. Like Alan Stone or uh, uh, I can't even tell you who else. I, you know what I mean? But I'm really, I'm really looking to bring back this kind of timeless feel that we kind of lack today. I mean, you know, you listen to stuff on the radio and you're like, that's cool. But it doesn't, it doesn't last like, like music used to last, right? I don't, and, and it might, I may get 20 years down the road and be completely blown away, but there's not a whole lot that's going on right now that I listen to and I'm like, yeah, my kids will be listening to that, to this stuff someday. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> that's a little that's a little loaded, but yeah. Yeah, and um, as far as performances, like, do you have any coming up, or where are you performing next? Or I have been, uh, I I I have been out of the performance circuit for a year now, um, and I've been there's there's been a lot going on. There's been a lot uh, that I've been trying to accomplish with my record. You know, we're. Putting out your your first LP is is a really big deal, and it's you know we want it we want it to be the right collection of songs, and there's still some new stuff that's coming out that we're like okay there's there's a place for this, but if we put everything out, it's gonna be like a twenty song record. So that's where a lot of the focus has been, and you know I've been uh, just trying to get you know ever deeper into the New York City music scene. So I'm all I want to say to the people who are anxious for me to get back out, it is coming sooner than you think, um, like within the next couple of months. Um, but I, I've, I've really been investing my, my time and my efforts into getting a group of people together who not only believe in these songs, uh, but, but believe in the direction that I want to take. Uh, you know, it's not even just my music because there's so many people involved at this point, but this project and you know, getting, getting people who are behind it really. So I ha I, I've had a lot of great players get involved, but it, it's not really anything that is going to allow me to perform regularly, right? Because it's, it's a bunch of people from all over the Northeast. So I, I've really been investing in putting together a group of people that can be seen with me regularly. And I think it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited about some new people who are getting involved and some new flavors that are being integrated. So very soon. Shows will be soon. My, my website, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, all that stuff will be loaded with announcements uh, very soon. That's great. 
Um, and I want to take you back to the first time you ever performed, and I just want to hear like what your experience was like the first time you performed in front of like a uh, fairly large audience. Fairly large audience. Yeah. Well, I I remember being nervous as heck. Um, oh, you know what? I do actually. The first time I really performed, because you know I did some stuff in high school or whatever, but you know you don't count that. Yeah. Uh, the first time I really, really performed was uh, my first semester of college with this group of guys that I played with for a lot of years, and they're still, you know, dear friends of mine. Um, and it was a great time. We played a friend's birthday party, and it was it was just like a packed house party atmosphere. Um, you know, beverages were being consumed as people tend to do in college, so it was kind of loose and fun and. We, we got to debut a few original songs, and it was just all good. I mean, you go and you I, – I have, like, video footage that somebody took and I have on, on my computer, and I would never let the public see it. But um, that was it, – it was just – it was fun. And, you know, I think back really fondly on that night because that's what it's all about. And, you know, this when, – when this turns from a hobby to a career – it's, it's everything that any other career is. It's, it's tough. It's rigorous. It's a climb. But, you know, I heard somebody say recently, you have to always be reminding yourself of why you got started. And I think that night is really it. You know what I mean? It's, it was just, yeah, we were nervous, but there, the, a, a room full of energy, it, you just can't describe it. It's, it's something that you just have to experience for yourself, whether you are on one side of the stage or the other, right? It's a group participation. It's a co-creation. So, um, yeah, just excitement, love, um, community, all, all the things that anybody who has ever been to a great show have experienced. And I don't even know that it was great, but everybody had a good time. And at the end of the night, that's what's important. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to ask, like, kind of going off topic a little bit uh, about your um, music videos. Like, where do you get the ideas to make them the way they are? Like, I looked at the one for Too Late, I think, and maybe uh, yeah. inspiration behind that one. That's a, that's a heavy song. Um, that's a really heavy song. Um, that, that song was written in maybe the most transitional part of my life. Um, I think a lot of people listen to that and they're like, oh, this is a breakup song. And there's, there's some truth in that. Um, but it was more so, I think it, it was about going through, going through a tough breakup, but then on the other side, the breakup in itself, I mean, that wasn't as significant as me looking in the mirror and saying, all right, it's time, it's time to make some changes. It's time to start taking some things seriously. And that, I'm so grateful for that time in my life because that's what really propelled me into the songwriter role that I've, you know, come into. Um, so the video, we, re we really wanted to showcase um, this idea of a person on, on a quest of really trying to find themselves. And we shot it on um, an island off the coast of Cape Cod called Martha's Vineyard, which I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with. It's a popular vacation spot. But it's, it's popular for like, I don't know, 10 months a year. And then the other, you know, rest of the – or 10 months, excuse me, 10 weeks a year. So, so the other 42 weeks of the year, it's just like this – desolate, low-key island community, and it's really, really beautiful. And uh, the, the director, producer of that video was a girl named Marina Zaria, and she shot my first two videos, and uh, we had a great time together. Um, and when, when we were coming up with this story, it was just kind of a no-brainer that we would, we would create this story of a person going to this very desolate place. And I think you get the sense of that watching the video. I mean, we shot it in the winter. Um, and it's just, you know, there's little things about that video that 
I just kind of want to leave open to interpretation because everything in that video, I will say, was intentional. Everything was significant. Um, and that's actually a, a place where my family has a home and I've spent my life spending my summers there. So it's a very near and dear place to my, my heart and it reminds me of family and in those tough times, that's where I go. That's who I lean on, my family, because I love them all very much. And uh, so that's, that's that video. Um, Lay Me Down was just kind of, we, I, that was my debut video, so I really wanted people to get a sense of, because there's a lot going on in that track. I wanted them to get a sense of, hey, this is kind of what you're going to get when you come see me play live, because that's, that's a big part of my vision for this project. And uh, yeah, that's, that's a little more straightforward. It's, you know, there's kind of a little romance in it, and it's exciting, and it's edgy, and, you know, that's... That, that was a little more straightforward than too late. But, you know, you, you've kind of got to have the best of both worlds, you know? Yeah. Um, and I have one more question. Uh, if Great. you could um, talk to, like, I don't know, bands or musicians who are starting up right now, what advice would you give them? Wow, that's so tough. It's so tough. Oh, uh, what a... I, I would first... I would first tell... And I do tell younger musicians and bands, this isn't, this isn't like getting your PhD. This isn't like going to law school. It's different than any career there is. It's very rewarding and it's very tough. There's no set path. Surround yourself with people who are going to believe in what you do and people who are going to connect with your songs because those are the people who are going to fight for you. Um, a lot of people are going to try to tell you that they can do this, 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 and this for you, and that they know all these people, and yada, 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 and it's only going to cost you this much. We are very, very, very fortunate. Don't listen to anybody who says, oh, well, what are you going to do? The nature of the industry is all, you know, don't listen to that. We are in a revolutionary time in music and in connection and there is there's a lot more responsibility on the artist but just talking personally I gotta be honest that's kinda where I want it when, when the clock is winding down I want the game ball you know what I mean I wanna take the shot so look it, it's it's very tough and, and you've gotta have a lot of courage um, and you've got to have a big enough dream. Um, it, it will not be enough to sustain you to say, well, I really liked doing this in college. I mean, for me, that's what I thought it was, but it was really living for you know, a significant amount of time with the absence of that and, and working another job and saying to myself, this isn't me. Uh, this, I'm, who, I didn't eat, like, I look back at pictures pictures. I don't even recognize the person that I was dressed as, right? So um, it, it, get comfortable being uncomfortable, to quote a friend of mine, um, and, and, and just stick it out. Um, you, you're going to have to do a lot of things just to get by for a long time. But if you're surrounded by people who believe in you, and that's super, that's super great when you have a band, right? I don't have that. I, I got to operate by the work for hire code, right? But I still have a lot of people in my camp that I can call up and say, hey, I'm really having a bad day. This is really tough today. And it's going to be tough. Um, and, and spend my, my mentor, Bo Eason, who is an amazing human being and is doing amazing things but he has created this love for rehearsal in me I always love to rehearse I would, but I, I used to live for the performance right live for the rehearsal because that's where you take chances that's where you grow that's you're not gonna take as many risks on stage as you are in rehearsal so make your life 
90% rehearsal. That's if, if you want to get better. If you don't, you just want to stay complacent, you know, there's, there's room for that too. But yeah, I mean, just th those are my things. Be around people, oh, in this. Be around people who encourage you and love you and believe in you. Get those people in your camp. Live for rehearsal. And, and get to a big city. There, there are not a lot of cities with living, breathing music scenes anymore. Find one. For me, it was New York. I know people who do it in Nashville. I know people who do it in L.A. Uh, Chicago, man. Uh, but uh, Seattle, too, obviously. Give it up for Seattle. Um, but that, look, that I, I, that's like five. I'm sure I could think of more if we sat here. But it's, it's a dying thing, the music thing. Do whatever you got to do to get to a big city. It's important. So those three things, that's where I would start. Okay. Yeah, that's really good advice. I wish I had some of that when I used to be in a band because I, I don't know. Didn't, like, hey, you're yeah. still in college. It's not too late. <laughs> yeah. You, girl. you can yeah. do it. Hopefully. Maybe again one day because my band was in high school and like after oh. high school, like it didn't, like we all went different directions so we couldn't yeah. like, keep it together. Exactly. Yeah, I <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you have a great day. It was nice. You too. Again. Best of luck. You're doing a great thing. You too. All right. Take care.